Devonport is the gateway to Tasmania for thousands of visitors who arrive each year by sea. The northwest of the state is also one of the most productive regions for agriculture and horticulture in the entire country. The rich volcanic soils supporting a wide range of crops, vegetables and a real lifesaver for your garden. Yes, it's pyrethrum. It's this very beautiful but simple daisy that is one of the rare sources of a natural organic insecticide that we find in so many organic insecticides today. Pyrethrum is best suited to cool temperate growing conditions, so here in Tasmania it's ideal. The plant itself has very low demands. All it needs is really well-drained soil and a little bit of extra moisture as the flowers start to appear. The sight of all these flowers en masse is really quite breathtaking. But in case you're wondering, how do they actually extract the oil from the flower? Well, see this little yellow centre? The oil, the pyrethrin, is just behind there in the centre of the flower in the seeds. The truth is, two thirds of the world's pyrethrin actually comes from northwest Tasmania. But why is it such a good insecticide? Well, it's the complex composition of the chemicals in the natural pyrethrin that the insects have found it virtually impossible to adapt to. And because it's 100% natural, it's safe in all those really sensitive situations, in all your edible crops, your fruits and your vegetables for organic farming and all around the house. Now, it's fair enough if you're thinking, I don't have the acreage like this to grow pyrethrum, but it is worth popping a few in your garden because it's not only attractive, it's a very useful plant to have around. Just plant a few amongst your vegetables, of course, and don't forget around your ornamental plants, your roses, your flowers, your shrubs. It'll all help to keep the insects at bay. You know, it's an amazing plant that we've grown for centuries in the garden, and it's produced one of the prettiest security systems you could ever have. <laughs> <laughs>